Hey y'all, uh, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you're gonna love it here. And if you're returning, what's up? For this video, I will be showing you all how I achieved this no part flip over using a V part wig. Super quick, convenient, and easy. You can take the wig off before going to bed every night. As you can see, it's given versatile. I can put it in a half up, half down, flip it from one side to the next, maybe even push it back and wear it with the headband. So cute and natural. So if you would like to see the steps that I did to achieve this look, just keep on watching. So the wig that I will be using for this install is from Curly Me Her. They sent over a dust bag with their logo on it, two wig caps, an edge brush, and a lace band a pair of lashes, and of course the wig. This is the 20 inch kinky curly V part human hair wig. As you can see, the wig has four clips along the V line, four combs in the back area of the wig, and an adjustable straps also in the back of the wig. All right, so we're first gonna get started on the braid down. I sectioned off about an inch of her in the front. I parted down the middle. I'm gonna start off by focusing on the left side. I'm gonna use my spray bottle to spray the hair down. I wanna get it damp, but not, not too wet. I feel like you get better braid out results when your hair is damp. Next, I'm gonna go in with some foaming mousse. I will be using a generous amount of that throughout my hair. Using the mousse is key. This is what's gonna really lock in them curls. After applying the mousse, I'm gonna go in and braid my hair down to the scalp. Knowing that the curl pattern on the wig is tight, I made sure to do me a small, tight braid. This is the only idea I could think of to get my leave out to blend in with the wig. In my opinion, I should have done the braid a little bit closer to my edges so that my um, hair could be curly more at the root, but hey, you live and you learn. Now that the first braid is basically done, I'm going to do the other one off camera and leave those in overnight. Moving on to the next day, I'm going to take my scarf off. This is a full view of my braid down. Of course, the two braids that I did in the front that I let sit overnight for my leave out. The middle braid is for the clips on the V-part wig. In my opinion, it is easy for the clips to clip onto a braid that is horizontal. And for the remainder of the hair, I did six jumbo straight backs. Like always, I'm gonna go in with the wild growth oil to oil my scalp before applying the wig. And here I am just rubbing it on in. I got hair glue stuck to my robe. It's, it's time for a new robe. This robe is so comfortable and I love wearing it for my tutorials, but it needs to be put to rest. Now it is time to apply the wig. Here I am opening the clips. And since I'm going for the flip over no part look, I'm gonna apply the wig straight across. So I'm gonna stretch the V parts of this wig as much as I can so that it can look nice and seamless. As you can see, I'm just taking my time applying the wig where I want it to be and just clipping it on in. 
Since the wig is not made for the style that I'm doing, of course it does not go all the way to the other side, but that is okay because I made it work and you can't even tell. Now that the wig is on, I'm gonna start off by separating the curls. Doing this is what gives it a more fuller and natural look. I could have easily done this with a wide tooth comb, but unfortunately I don't have one. Next, I'm gonna go in with my spray bottle that's filled with just regular water and spray my hair down. I'm kind of working in sections, spraying the hair and then going in with a detangle brush to brush through the hair. Now that I have one side sprayed down, as you can see, it's kind of giving off a different look versus the other side. So here I am doing the same process on the other side. Now that both sides are complete, once again, I'm gonna go in with my foaming mousse. I'm gonna add that only to the ends of the hair to define the curls a little more. Now that that's complete, I'm finally gonna take down the front braids. I wish the ends of my hair would have been more curly, but I'm not gonna complain. I'm basically trying to mimic a curl pattern that isn't my natural curl pattern, so yeah. To give this wig more of a natural look, I'm gonna go in with my razor comb and create some layers. Cutting shorter pieces and creating the layers will help my leave out not be so noticeable because obviously it's shorter than the rest of the wig. And yeah, I'm just obsessed with layers. Honestly, I could have let the wig dry because it is still damp and left it at this length, but I decided to cut it instead. So I pull all of the hair 
to the front on both sides and here I am just cutting straight across. That first cut was a little uneven, but trust me, I went back to fix it. So here I am cutting the other side. Now that the hair is cut, I'm not gonna lie, I like this length much better. I am now gonna move on to my favorite part, the baby hairs. I will be using my skinny flat iron to curl my edges. I won't be using as much heat as I usually do on my edges, simply because the way it looks now is natural and I feel like it looks nice with the hair texture. So here I am using my edge brush to create my swoops. And then I'm gonna go in with the Edge Booster Edge Control. I'm gonna add a little bit of that to the edge brush and start laying them edges down. Now I am doing my edges on the other side. I would also like to mention that later on I added more baby hair in the center of my head. You will see what I'm talking about at the end of this video. I don't typically do my edges like that ever, but somehow it worked for this hairstyle. Before I show you all the final look, when the wig is completely dry, I would like to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you check out Curly Me Her. The details on this beautiful V-part wig will be down in my description box below. And yeah, that's it, that's all. I'ma see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.